Howdy folks, Grok the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the vanilla server up way above the nether. This is the, uh, the the top bedrock piece of the nether that we punched through. And taking a look at the gold farm that we set up here, um, since I'm going to demo this and I'm it, climbing up the, the, the ladders is boring, I'm going to go ahead and jump into spectator mode. Ooh, ghostly head. And we'll go take a look at the, the setup we have here. You can see it goes way up there. Uh, two platforms. This first one here is where I would stand, but the second one is the actual gold farm itself. Let's zip up there. This is based on Impulse's plan and has worked very nicely. This uh, top piece is where the mobs actually spawn and the the floor shifts below them and they fall down to their death below and below there is a minecart and cuz i'm in spectator mode <laughs> so below here is a minecart that races back and forth that is picking up all the drops uh, above and then it puts it into this uh, chest here gets uh, pulled out runs through and then i have a little bit of a um, bit of sorting here where I sort out the rotten flesh because you know who cares about that oh my fire I used to have here is out anyway so it just dispenses the rotten flesh here and now it's just timing out and after five minutes goes away but I used to have fire in here that would uh, destroy it uh, everything else comes through here and gets spit out by this drops through the little shaft and is collected down there because I figured it was easier to collect and grab at it later down there. The cactus is here to get rid of any of the magma cubes that spawn because when they glitch through and fall down they they just wander around they'll just randomly go to some direction get hit the the the, the cactus and and die this has a double layer the top part is for crushing ghasts because they can still spawn in here and it's been nice to get an occasional uh, ghast here out of this uh, unfortunately just like the witch farm there has been a couple little glitches that have uh, happened here where the the pistons have glitched out and no longer work so I went through and actually removed the spawning spots because they would just kinda sit there and do nothing and I said eh not so so happy with that but it's been working really well I've I've gotten a, quite a lot of good stuff out of it so no complaints there uh, things I did notice is that uh, occasionally the gas would spawn in here it would trip that top layer of, of trip wires and the blocks would press in and it was supposed to crush them often it doesn't and so I go huh, well, that's not very good this here is my stand for AFK farming. I put a little uh, block there to, to know exactly where to stand. I put the, the cage up to keep me from falling off because, again, because the gas don't get crushed initially, they would just stay there and they would just shoot fireballs. I've been knocked off, <laughs> which is not very good. Uh, the other thing I will often do, because there is that random chance of dying, I will come to here and I will put my stuff in the, the chest here, and occasionally if I hear a ghast while I'm AFK, I'll come in here, grab my bow and arrow, jump up and shoot over the, the fence and kill it, and uh, that, that works. But this is the, uh, the AFK uh, setup here. Works very nicely. And typically, if I'm you know playing wherever I'm playing, when it comes nighttime, I'll come back to the vanilla server and AFK up there or at the the mob farm, and just to uh, you know a allow some some drops to be gathered up that way. So here, this is overnight. Ooh, three gas tiers. That's very cool. We got some magma creams. A couple of things there. Anything in this one? Yep, a couple more magma creams. So just a very simple little hopper that feeds into these. So that's about maybe five, six hours worth of AFK uh, here. The server 
will reboot uh, its firewall somewhere around about three in the morning. So I'll get three to four hours of, of AFKing at night, and then in the morning if, if I get up I'll, I'll jump in before I go off and do things, and then that way I can get a little bit more AFK farming. So there's that. It works. It, no real complaints other than the, the glitch, which is not a problem with Impulse's system, but it's uh, just a problem with the Minecraft itself. But I decided to go ahead and, and build a second and a replacement gold farm. This is uh, what I'm calling the, the version 2 gold farm. Again, this is based off of Impulse's system, uh, but it's uh, the new one he posted uh, five, six months ago that uses the nature of the way the pigments spawn and aggro each other. So the idea, and I've only got half of it set up at this point, is that they will, the pigment will spawn in here, and the occasional magma cube. Uh, they, either ones can just kind of randomly fall off the back. It's mainly for the magma cubes to fall off the back. But I will grab me a pigment and drop him into this little slot, and I'll name him with a name tag so he doesn't die. No, not die. He doesn't despawn. And then I'll be able to, when I have the, the, the other side on, on here, and it's all completed with all the redstone bits, then I'll be able to come up here, flip a switch, ride this minecraft cart back and forth, and if I have a snowball, I can come up, toss it at that pigment at the end, he will aggro at me, and that will that aggro will spread to all the the zombie pigmen that are on these platforms. They'll come chasing towards me, and because of the the trapdoors here, they will come running over here and then fall through to a crushing chamber where they'll get uh, smashed. And then, because they were aggroed when they die, it'll be as if the player killed them. So XP will also be uh, available from this uh, farm, which is the, the one of the reasons why I'm, I'm doing this. It is much fewer resources, so don't have to worry about pistons glitching out and fun like that. Uh, but i also be able to get the, the experience from it. And one of the things that I've done, if I come over here, and let's uh, get back into regular mode. Actually, I have nothing on me, so I don't know if I really want to uh, punch a pigman, but you can see how quickly the pigmen are spawning up there and you can see my levels. Right now I've got 42 levels. I've gone from 8 to 30 plus multiple times now and the way I've done it is coming into here, run through and uh, an occasional pigman will, will, oh those are loud, an occasional pigman will spawn on this track. I'll kill him, which will aggro all these guys, they'll just come racing at me, and yep, there they go. Right now, they are set to just fall to the ground, because I don't have the crushing chamber in place, but they'll push each other off. So let's go down. And this is part of that uh, really fun, boring climbing up and down thing. At some point, I'm going to go ahead and set up a minecart to, to get me up to the, the, the top, because uh, climbing up and down is, is uh, really annoying. Probably set up a central shaft that I can drop down to a slime block. That way I can get down really fast, safely, but I'll also be able to get up without having to, to run and run and run and run, or you know, climb and climb and climb. And over here, there's no experience from these guys because oh, there's also no gold nuggets. <laughs> but there's no experience from these guys because they were not aggro when they fell. And you can just barely make out the, the farm up there. Actually, I don't care about these. I'll just let them despawn. Here's some of the stuff that I picked up while playing here uh, on and, and working with this. I've managed to get this much out of them. Uh, a lot of these gold ingots are coming from the the rare drops that you get from from these pigmen. Uh, all the the those gold swords I've just been and the rotten flesh I've just been tossing out to expire. But anyway, this is the uh, gold farm version two. Uh, we've produced a, a vast amount of gold from these two farms. Well, 
that farm uh, especially. That's really helped with making the powered rails that we, we like for, for the rail system around and uh, you know everything else that uh, gold is, is nice to have. But it's a, a project I will keep working on that up there and see if we can get that running in the, the next day or two because uh, having the, the experience is very very nice. I think in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and take and uh, looks like I can do uh, four five enchants of uh, some good diamond gear with the levels I have and then uh, you know aggro a few more pigmen and we'll watch them fall to the death. It's loads of fun. As you can see the version 2 gold farm is up and running and uh, th there's experience galore being uh, produced by these uh, mad pigmen. Uh, down here at the bottom I would come and throw a snowball at him and that would enrage all these these pigmen and they come running at me. Up there you can see they're they're running to me. They fall down and then the process will crush them and then retract and let them fall down some more and then crush them. They're just retracted and they can pile in and then in a little bit uh, it'll go ahead and crush them some more. Uh, there's a, a little bit of experience in items that squirts out the side but I'm not all that concerned. I've spent let's see all told probably about seven hours uh, AFK here because I decided to take a, an extra long nap and uh, at this point let's take a look and see what levels I've got out of this. Uh, I started I was about 42 after com building all this and doing some of the testing and and watching the guys fall down and go splat uh, I went ahead and, and decided to ride the rails and let's see what we got here. 269 levels. Not bad for an overnight AFK, don't you think? And if I take a look here, my setup here, I did my typical farming thing. I took everything off in case something glitched happened and I got killed. I don't care. Uh, I picked up a gold ingot and some gold nuggets, and I just kept uh, filling up my inventory so that nothing else would be picked up. No zombie flesh, no swords. Don't care about them. They can just despawn on their own. And that's how much I've picked up uh, overnight uh, here in the farm, which is pretty slick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and be done. I've made a few changes to, to the, the setup that Impulse did. Uh, right here, I have a chest that has snowballs in it, so it's right convenient for us. It's a little bit unnerving that I pop out on the wrong side of the, the system, but that's okay. I put this little slab here so that I can get over. And I can come back over here. Ooh, hey, there's some nuggets up here. We'll pick up those. Can't get that guy. And I don't know if I really care that much. There's nuggets squirting out all over this place. Uh, there is one guy that will just kind of sit there and not do anything, but any that spawn behind them will push them in. Uh, at the rate this thing is producing, I really don't care. Uh, one of the things I, I did do, different from what Impulse, I kind of did the slabs on this side and at the bottom of, of uh, this piece just for aesthetics. Oh, hey, there's a, a little magma cube up there. Hello, magma cube. And he's about ready to fall over the edge. Nope, nope, he's going back. And the other thing I did is there's a bunch of zombies here. Wouldn't it be nice to go ahead and crush them? So, well, yes, lovely XP. Right here, I added a little switch that will go ahead and activate the crushers because by default they will be off. You aren't in, are you? No, you're not. That's okay. We'll get the last little bit of XP from them. Turn that back off. And you know, more spawning and falling in, and I don't care, but uh, at least the big batch that was right there is gone. And there's a zombie up there. Occasionally, as these guys get crushed, it will summon zombies, part of that social zombie uh, effect, and they will actually appear as well 
way down there at the, uh, the top of the, the, the nether on the bedrock, which is always disconcerting coming down and seeing a bunch of uh, zombies coming after you. Pick that one up. Uh, he has, there's the original gold farm way over there, he had his item farm, or the item collection up here. I decided to do my item collection there underneath. Saves on a bunch of hoppers, and I'm gonna set up uh, the entrance over there. So let's go down. Not too protected yet, but, but it's getting there. I have here a chest for, or a, a crafting table so that I can compress nuggets into ingots and then ingots into blocks. And then I can just sit there and store the stuff here. Come here, come back. All right. Uh, let's take a look and see how much has produced. The way this is set up is it will go bottom to top and then fill over. And this first four sets of chests are gold nuggets. Yeah, that that's full. Uh, that's full. That's full. What about the top one? Yep, that's full. All right. Oh, so we spilled over into the second row. So that's about seven, six, seven hours worth of, of farming right there. That's more than what I produced over in the other. And it should be because there's far more uh, spawning spots for it. Ingots, probably here. Yep. There we go. One chest um, beginning for ingots. Let's uh, get rid of these guys. And zombie flesh I really don't care about, but I can go ahead and collect it because it, it, it's something I can trade for. Okay, so we're getting just a smidge more rotten flesh than we do uh, the gold nuggets, which is kind of what I would expect. But as soon as this uh, fills up, then it's going to go ahead and start dispensing the extras out over the, the top of the, 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 the nether. Yes, I can really speak today, can't I? Back here, I have the sorting system that uh, he showed, and it is... All right, let me do this. Since I'm completely empty, and I'm not going to touch anything, I'm okay with uh, going into demonstration mode here. And I, I won't go into the 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 first mo uh, um, player one into admin mode because then I can add blocks and stuff. But gameplay, you know, for for survey, yeah, I'm really having a hard time speaking. Going into uh, spectator mode, I don't have a problem. Uh, here is the the row of hoppers coming in, coming down. I just figured just keep it right here rather than piping it all the way up over there. Here's the system I have set with overflow. And I tend to use silly stuff like pink dye. What's the likelihood of pink dye ever processing through this system? So very remote <laughs> that I, I like using that. Plus I can get pink dye really, really cheap. Uh, so I can do that. This the way it's it's set up, yeah, I can have a full stack of items in here, and it charges all the way down, and you see the, the, the torch is off, so it will let things come through, but there's no room for it, so it doesn't go. This is nice overflow protection. I love it. Over here, anything that comes through, hi, hi guys, uh, anything that comes through and doesn't get sorted, like... Uh, the swords, just gobs and gobs of swords, they will get fed into this dropper, which using this system, and I was a little bit tight, I could have been a, a little bit better with the use of uh, redstone resources here, but it was a little bit tight because of I, I kept it up so high that I decided to go with the, the nine wide, you know, the three by three wide rather than the, 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 the two by uh, two by three with a, a little bit of height on it. And rather than shooting it into lava, I'm just dispensing it out straight down, and it will fall to the top of the the nether here, in case somebody gets crushed in there or something happens. Oh, there's our uh, our little magma cube. In case something crushed up, oh, been talking too long, it's despawned. But it will fall down here, and the, there's a big pile of swords down here at the bottom. So. 
in case somebody get crushed and all their items get dispensed through, they can have somebody run up or they could run up here and, and pick it up before it despawns. Uh, plans in the future, I want to go ahead and, and build a minecart system that will spiral up to get up to here. And I'm not 100% sure where I want it to come up, but I'm thinking probably this side right here, right about here, and have that up here uh, so you can get off. And then I'm going to set up some stairs leading up to here and take down a bunch of this and get rid of that uh, that top piece. So that's what uh, I've done as far as the, the gold farm is concerned. Uh, working as far as I... <laughs> It's working great. Uh, that I'll eventually dismantle, but I want somebody along to help grab it from the bottom. So a few more things that need to be done, but not too shabby. Ooh, floating head of the duck farmer. <laughs> I'm done with the gold farm. It is complete, and I'm standing up here uh, where we punched through the nether. Let's go right here. And the gold, old guard, gold farm is there. I've already taken down the AFK piece. But let's come over here. I was talking about setting up a uh, minecart system to get on up there. That is now complete. So the uh, pillar is gone. This is using Mumbo's uh, system, which he took from Slipgator, which he got from Wooly, I believe. But anyway, it looks really good here. Can't use water. We're in the nether, so I've got a slime box here. And I put glass around to stop the, the pigmen from spawning on the, the tracks, because that's really annoying. Works very simply. Just hop into the minecart, and up we go. Decided to use the, uh, the redstone blocks as I did for, for cool looking effect along with the, the lamps. And up here at the top, We've got uh, the, the, the cactus that uh, breaks down the minecart, it pops it through, and it's hard to see, but uh, back there it goes ahead and dispenses, yep, just right there, it dispenses in the corner, the, the minecart back down. Uh, normally you could dispense it right in the middle, but I can't have a hopper at the bottom to pick it up, because that's where I want to go down. Here's my quick, uh, quick way down, yep, hold space to not bounce much at the bottom because I multiple times when I was playing with this in the first time I kept holding down the shift to sneak and I was going splat at the bottom which was not much fun and the 169 level or 269 levels I had before gone a uh, lot more protection here so you can't actually fall off the edge anymore and uh, we've got the stairs going up and everything else that uh, we showed off before is, is still there, so we're, we're fine. It works like a treat right now. Really uh, enjoying this, as you can see, I've got uh, 246 levels back. And if we take a quick look, a bunch of us on the server have been riding this uh, to get some levels so we can enchant things. That's all full, I think. Okay, we've compressed a whole bunch of them, but we still have a bunch of chests here. Let's see, our gold nuggets there. Nuggets. Yeah, almost two full stacks of gold blocks there. Who knows what else has been picked up from elsewhere. Uh, zombie flesh is completely full, and so it's just been dispensing out. Uh, I could think of some way of getting this to transport over to... Uh, the, the overworld, but eh, I figure if I'm going to do some trading with the villagers, I'll just pick up stuff here. But it's uh, working like a treat. Let's just go ahead and hop on down for fun. I'm hoping that will stop uh, pigmen from spawning up here, but I'm not sure. And then the sign saying hold down the space jump is necessary, because uh, I don't want to forget and do the, <laughs> the shift again and die and go splat. But working like a champ. I think it's a, an excellent, excellent setup. If uh, you have the, the need for gold on your farm, in your, your server, that's the way to do it. I love it. This has been Grok the Duck Farmer. Thanks for watching. Bye!